Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Tyson. I hope y'all are doing all right tonight. I'm doing well, thanks for asking. So today's video is centering around the rapper Jack Boy. I believe he's out of Florida and he's also under Kodak Black if I'm not mistaken. He's also Haitian and we're gonna be discussing him today. Now this video is not new. It's actually, I think about eight months old or so. I just watched Queen Choma's video on this as well as Stephen Brown's I haven't finished his all the way yet and at that point at some point earlier when I was watching one of the videos I was like I should do a video on this I have kind of a different perspective than they had and I like as a content creator you don't want to watch everybody's video and then do a video because you're kind of gonna you might you're more prone to end up regurgitating what they said you know what I'm saying? Especially me. Like, I have to watch certain musicians that I listen to because I'll end up sounding like them in my shit. So, um, with that being said, though, let me give y'all the clip real quick, and then I'll come back and give y'all my commentary. I'll tell you why Kodak said you don't with dark skin girls. Me too. I, 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 I like any girl, but I stay away from dark skin girls. <laughs> why y'all like dark skin girls? First of all, y'all too violent. Really? Am I right or wrong? Shut the fuck up. No. Listen, a light skinned girl, if you just touch her like this, she would get bruised. So she don't like to get hit. Like, yeah. she don't like to wrestle, none of that, because little shit bruises her. Yeah. A dark skinned girl, she's so black, you don't see no bruise. So she trying to real deal thump your ass. I ain't that black though. Hey, hey, huh. I don't like black girls, bro. I like light skinned girls because, like, they just so. Don't you? They, you just so you they just so good. pretty and just so gentle. Like, they just so soft. <laughs> like, <laughs> For real, they like you just wanna you just wanna love them so so much. Like I prefer light skin girl because I'm too black and I don't want no black ass baby. All right, so y'all heard that clown shit straight out of Jack Boy's mouth. Um, now first off, I want to start on the birds of a feather mentality. Um, I wasn't that shocked to hear him. Apparently, from Queen Choma's video, she was a supporter of his, and um, she had no idea this is how he felt. You know, she even said that. Um, the way he speaks, you wouldn't un you wouldn't expect that from the way he raps. Um, so she was kind of shocked and threw off. Me personally, um, he's affiliated with Kodak Black, and you know, like I, like they say, birds of a feather flock together. Granted, they're in business together, but still, you kind of have to have a like minded mind to even do business with certain people. Otherwise, you just kind of won't click. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really surprised that this is how he feels, you know, and that he also went up to defend Kodak Black. Um, but with that being said, I want to move on to the next point, which is why awareness and open dialogue about these conversations is pivotal. Now, one thing I don't agree with is the actionless outrage because it absolutely benefits nobody. If you're going to do all this dragging, quote unquote dragging, um, walking people like a dog on the internet and all this other shit, and, um, then in two weeks, you're going to go right back to supporting them. What is the fucking point? What is the point, really and truly? And I'm talking to you, all you dark-skinned women who are still streaming Chris Brown's music, even though he only fucked the dark bitches with the good hair or the black bitches, whatever he said. I'm talking to you, dark-skinned women, who are still supporting Kevin Hart after he said you could take a punch in the face better than light-skinned women and dark, dark bitches have bad credit or whatever the fuck he said. You know what I'm saying? So when you still put money behind these people and still fund these people, still follow these people on social media and are still invested in them, what is the point of having outrage? I, I'd rather you just quietly continue supporting them. It makes no sense whatsoever. That's why people look at things like cancel culture as a fucking joke. And I do believe that accountability is the goal, really. This cancel culture shit, I don't, I don't really buy into that. But holding people accountable and quietly with r removing your dollars that is more effective than sitting on here writing tweets to people. You know what I'm saying? And for whoever feels like that's not effective, um, has anybody thrown a life jacket to Daniel Caesar yet? Because if I'm not mistaken, last I heard, his album did 10K in the first week. Ah! 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 No way! Not... See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. 10,000 sales in the first week. Caping for that bald head, smut ass, slut ass hoe. We ain't even gonna say her name on this damn uh, channel. All right, so with that being said, real quickly, I wanna touch on black people and their denial of how social groups work. And in this instance, we're talking about races. Um, 
so as far as black people are concerned like i I want y'all to know individualism is not practical like on an individual level you can function individually but as far as how society views people that's not how that works society stereotypes society typecast that's literally what officers do when they're trying to um whatever the term is for when they're trying to find out um details on a suspect or brainstorm for a suspect like if you watch criminal minds when they're doing the breakdown they you know assess this social this social um what's the word i'm looking for personality trait with this type of mental disorder this type with this this thing with this this with this uh okay this area is predominantly white so the suspect must be more than likely is predominantly white he's familiar with the area about how he moves that's how life works you know what i'm saying granted that's a tv show but people stereotype they typecast you know all the morality melvins oh you shouldn't stereotype and we that's not how it works that's not how it works i'm sorry to burst your bubble but that's not how it works and that's why I didn't have a problem saying that, you know, Candace Owens has a point. We do, with effort, try to push the bar- bottom of the barrel, black people, to the top, even in the entertainment world. A lot of these rappers, deadbeat fathers, they got kids by multiple people, ain't had a ring yet. They want to be taken on dates. They are bad bitches. They want you to buy them flowers. Hey, ASAP Rocky. You know what I'm saying? And that's nothing against him personally. It just, it is what it is. You know, if it's a bad look, it's a bad look. Like I said in my features and video, I like DMX, but I'm not going to act like his thug persona, his thugged out, you know, gang, I'm a bang, hit the block. I'm not going to act like all that doesn't contribute to or give an excuse to white people or police, white people or police, really, who are doing heinous crimes against black people and killing them. You know what I'm saying? It hasn't contributed to the, um, toxic masculinity and how we're viewed as black men in today's society i'm not gonna act like that didn't happen both things can be true at both times the music can be problematic but still good that's the thing you know what i'm saying and i appreciate people more who are honest about that you know what i'm saying if you can sit there and say you know i don't really care that r kelly touched them little girls i'm still gonna listen to the music if you could do that you got all the more respect for me than the, from me than the person who just sit there, sits there and blames the quote-unquote fast little girls. If you can sit there and say, you know what, I don't really care about what cokehead Chris said about fucking black bitches with the good hair. I still want to, you know, listen to his music. If you can sit there and say, you know, I don't really care about what Neo Ball head ass had to say about mixed babies looking the best or whatever he said. I don't really care about what his quote unquote Hawaiian silky thought ass wife had to say about black hair. I'm still going to listen to them. Uh, Kinky hair. That's what she was saying. She said her baby didn't get the Hawaiian silky hair that she has. Um, If you don't care that Lil Wayne said that that bitch would look better red. Even though he has a dark-skinned daughter, not that that matters because these niggas popping out dark-skinned kids and still colorists. But nonetheless, if you don't care about any of that, if you don't care that 50 Cent hasn't seen his child and God knows how long, if you don't care about all that and you still want to enjoy the music, that's fine. But when we're having these discussions, don't come in here and try to deflect or play, um, you know, the sob story, sad violin story of how their mother wasn't there or whatever. We don't want to hear all that shit. Just say you enjoy the toxicity and move the fuck on. That's it. That's all you got to do. I can respect that so much more than somebody who tries to cape for somebody who is not paying their bills. But with that being said, let's move on to the next point. Let's go on ahead and debunk this as a preference. Because a preference is preferring one thing over the other. It doesn't X out the other thing. So this is not a preference. I want to make that clear. He said he does not deal with dark-skinned women at all. So that's not a preference. A preference is, you know, I like apples. I prefer apples to oranges. And I actually do. I prefer to eat an apple because it's it's on the go right there. I don't have to sit there and peel it like a fucking orange. But I will still eat an orange if you hand me an orange. I'm not going to be like, ugh, orange. So you know what I'm saying? That is a preference. A preference is not, I don't don't really want dark skin girls. I'm a black me. I don't want a black bee. That is not a preference. So now that we got that out the way, let me go get some water real quick because I'm preaching. All right, I'm back. I really did have to go get some water. (laughs) All right, so now I want to connect the dots with what he said. First off, his reason stating the whole Bruce scenario, um, this gave me the same feeling that it did Kevin Hart 
when he made the joke about dark skinned women being able to take a punch in the face, I literally thought about Tori Tori Ray Hart, and I, I I hope there was no abuse in that relationship. And I don't think that's a reach because if your first scenario of a quote unquote joke, or you know, if you're just speaking in general, is violence or violent filled, that's a little strange to me. And it's not even so much. Well, I mean, the violence is alarming. But he literally sat there and broke down who bruises easily and harder. And while that logically is true, why is that your resort or first resort or example? You get what I'm saying? So that was a little strange to me. Hopefully he's not out here beating on women, but it, it was giving me that. It was, it's definitely given that, allegedly. Let me say that because ain't nobody finna sue me. Got me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Now, as far as him saying light-skinned women ain't pulling up to the hood to fight, that's a fucking lie. Because do, need I remind y'all, Sharkeisha, that shit became a whole song, dance, and all that. And before y'all try to move the goalposts, as colorist people always do, um, and shitty people in general, when we're having these types of conversations, it doesn't matter that they were in the hood. And no, that's not just hood shit. Because Cardi B pulled up on Nicki Minaj two years ago at Harper Bazaar. We ain't forget shit. You know what I'm saying? And while I will say, you know, Nikki was popping off at that mouth, especially in her interviews and, you know, in her songs with the subliminal shots that she said weren't about her, then later on said they were about her. We've seen that shit before with Lil' Kim. It is what it is. But nonetheless, those are two light-skinned, if I'm not mistaken, mixed girls. I'm going off of what they say. Cardi B definitely has stated that she is mixed. Nicki Minaj others herself in every other song. So to my knowledge, they are both bit mixed. Feel free to correct me down below in the comments. But those are two rowdy, light-skinned girls with tough personas, very quick out the mouth, and ready to pop off. Well, maybe Cardi B more than Nicki Minaj. But nonetheless, you get the point that I'm saying. So all this light-skinned men, women and mixed women are so docile. No, that's how you perceive the energies. And while I'm not going to deny that white supremacy does play a hand in this, I'm also not going to give black people the excuse to not get better and just cling on to white supremacy as an excuse. I will never do that as a pro-black comment create, content creator. Um, at the end of the day, you need to do your research. You need to unlearn these toxic behaviors. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's loving your 4C hair, loving the skin that you're in, loving the features that you're born with, you need to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'll be here and you'll have other content creators to help you along the way, depending on who you tune into. But at the end of the day, the earnest falls on you. You got to do the work. So with that being said, as far as his comments on not wanting a black baby because he looks black enough, he's black enough himself. At this point, I even side eye the men defending the artists when they or the colorist entertainers when they go to this length of anti-blackness because they're also talking about you nigga I don't know if you know that you know what I'm saying I I mean I'm confident in my blackness but I am offended by what he said um not so much that you know I'm gonna go kill myself but you know what I'm saying I do take a slight offense to what he said because I'm an unambiguous light-skinned man at least in my eyes I have the wide nose I have the full lips um, the 4C straight out of Africa hair. Granted, it's a mixture all throughout there. I do got a couple curls, but most of them is coils. You know what I'm saying? I have what blackness looks like at its root, minus the skin tone. And understand that when he says he doesn't want a black baby, he don't just mean he want a light skin baby. He mean he wants light skin with a more uh, uh, smoother features, y'all. And read in between the lines of what I mean by smoother. You know what I'm saying? The colored eyes, the mixed girl aesthetic. All right. So with that being said, um, real quick also, before we get into what we can take away from this as um, a community, the I ain't that black though girl. Oh, my God. I hate to use terminology like pick me's, but that's exactly what it was given. And then, like, I went back to go see the video because I'm like, okay, I know in this community we've made a distinction between brown skin and dark skin. So maybe she's brown skin. But when I looked at the video, it could just be the lighting. You know what I'm saying? Maybe the lighting was off. But to me, she looks like a dark-skinned girl. She don't even look brown-skinned. You know what I'm saying? It's not like she's Megan the Stallion shade. And, you know, I, prayers to Megan. I hope she rests up. But even Megan, I think, has some confusion on what she looks like. Because she calls herself Red Bone in quite a few songs. And Megan is definitely brown-skinned. I don't know. Maybe in Houston, she's a Red Bone. But over here, she is definitely brown-skinned. I don't know. 
But at any rate, y'all let me know down below. What would you classify Megan Thee Stallion as? Brown skin, light skin, or even dark skin? Let me know down below. Um, and real quick, black women, I'm not trying to police y'all, but please stop hopping on Instagram Live with bonnets. If you are not Tammy Roman, who is making money off of doing that shit, please stop doing that shit. It's not even about respectability politics. I say the same about black men sagging their pants. We should want to look our best at all times, especially when we're in public on public platforms or in public the bonnets the do-rags the fucking pants sagging all that shit has got to stop it's it <sighs> at any rate that's a whole nother video for a whole a whole nother topic for a whole nother video at any rate now what black women light skin and dark skin should take away from this situation or can take away is for one um let's start with light-skinned women because we're gonna go back to light-skinned men after dark-skinned women so light-skinned women what you can take away from this is um, you should be vetting black men that you date and men just in general. Because like I said, um, or like I've said in previous videos, the whole world is colorist to an extent. You know, colonization did a number on more than just America and more than just American black people. We're not the only black people that are color struck. So with that being said, you should vet whatever man you're dating the same make sure he's not a colorist make sure you're not just a light-skinned fetish to him in the same way that dark-skinned women have to make sure they're not the come-up woman to you know what i'm saying black men so the same way that these dark-skinned women you know chrissy and other dark-skinned women advocates on youtube and um just in general will tell black women dark-skinned black women in particular um you know vet these dudes you know you actually do need to know about their past girlfriends. See if there's a pattern with what they date. You know what I'm saying? If you're dealing with a guy and all he dates is light-skinned women, there's a chance that you're being fetishized. He doesn't really genuinely love you. You know what I'm saying? And I would kind of extend that same mentality to dark-skinned women. You know what I'm saying? As far as Jack Boy personally, I shouldn't see no dark-skinned women jumping up to um, support him financially. Um, at this point, I would even question if you meet a guy and you find out he's a big fan of Jack Boy. I would question him in and of itself because I'm pretty sure when this topic was hot and maybe even with us YouTubers doing videos on it, maybe it'll start trending again. I'm sure it was on Twitter at some point or somewhere where black people saw this and just brushed it aside and said, eh, I'm still going to support anyways. Um, that is a sign. Don't ignore that. And you can just casually ask that, you know what I'm saying? um hey you know jack boy you listen to him you know what i'm saying so there's a you know way for you right there to find out what i do not want to continue seeing is dark-skinned woman being the come up woman when these black men entertainers who have influence who sadly are definitely affecting how the black youth coming up is going to view black women they are telling you straight up and down they view black women as poverty they view exoticals as shit that you see on a boat this is what the fuck 50 cents 50 cents said right you know what i'm saying because he's joking right but at any rate nonetheless another topic for another day but you know he's a jokester so you know they're telling you whether it's a joke or they're really saying their quote-unquote preference they're letting you know how they view you dark-skinned black women and at this point the ball is in your court you can continue to watch power you can continue to support I almost said burner boys. Um, probably, that sounds like a real rapper. But at any rate, you can continue to support Jack Boy's music career, Lil Wayne's music career. You can continue to go to Kevin Hart's stand-up comedy shows. But when they say some anti-dark-skinned women shit again, I don't want to hear shit from you. You continue to support them. And as Chrissy said, if you still want to listen to the music, there's a way to listen to it without listening to it. <clears throat> Bootleg. Now, next, what I want to offer is kind of a different perspective. Um, I also want to tell light-skinned men what they should take away from this. Um, when these dark-skinned men come out and say that light-skinned women are feminine, I hope you know they're associating light-skinned, period, as feminine. So all you light-skinned men who are comfortable with these colorless dark-skinned men, you might be putting yourself in a situation, you know what I'm saying, just ignoring their comments because... Even Burner Boy, or not Burner Boy, sorry, shit, ja what's his name, damn, Jack Boy, sorry, <laughs> even Jack Boy said, you know, light-skinned women are scared to, you know, jump or do anything because they know they bruise easy, and if you as a light-skinned man do not think that somebody with the mindset 
of Jack Boy cannot easily detach the term women and insert the term men into light skinned men, bruise easy, you are sadly mistaken. So y'all might want to be careful hanging around these colorist dudes because if they see their counterpart, which is dark skinned women in this scenario, as masculine, what do you think they see you as if they see light skinned women as feminine? So that's just some food for thought to the light skinned men listening, especially if you are the only light skinned man out of your clique or squad group, however y'all identify yourself. You know what I'm saying? Those jokes can turn into something else real quick. So that's just something to think about. Um, in closing, though, I want to say um, if you're offended by what Jack Boy said, uh, withdraw your support. It's the same with Roddy Rich, Kodak Black. You know what I'm saying? The, these people, it's, it's no different. The answer is to withdraw your support. You know, outrage is fine and cool, but if there's no action behind it, then you're wasting our time. And to close out, in the words of Stephen Brown, by the power vested in me by proxy of Chrissy, Paris Milan, Queen Choma, and all other actually pro-black YouTubers who inspire my platform in one way or another, let his preference support him. He like red bones, let the red bones buy his music. He like yellow bones, let the, let the yellow bones buy his music. He like white passing light skin mixed women or whatever he said he's with, let them support him. That's all I got for y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.